Bravo. Tonight we're going to a very, very remote and isolated location in search of the highly isolated Seichen. Here in Pabona, uh, here in Panama, no, that's all right. Uh, here in Pomona, a location no one seems to have heard of, we enter the home of the sage hen, one of the brightest, most selective, most interdisciplinary species in the whole world. Good day, I'm Oliver, and I'm taking you into the heart of sage hen territory. Sage hens are gentle creatures that must be nurtured and protected when young. In their first year, sage hens form unique groupings of 10 to 20 youths commonly referred to as sponsor groups. Led by two or three slightly older sage hens, the purpose of the sponsor group is to build community. It is rumored that every group has a unique characteristic that brought the group together in the first place. Take this specimen from the area known as Mud Blaisdell, often the most athletic of all the sage hens. Notice their pumped chests and chiseled beaks as they strut about marking their territory. Whereas you'll notice this group from Wig is very quiet and mysterious, often choosing not to leave the nest. Here we see a group of young sage hens following their leader through their home. Sage hens identify their young through the use of neck-worn lanyards. Only the newest sage hens wear lanyards around their necks, and such behavior usually ends within the first year. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 thoughts. Like animals such as cats and dogs, sage hens dislike bathing so strongly that they only bathe one day per year. This ritual is called fountaining, and it takes place annually on a sage hen's birthday. Friends of the fountain sage hen carry them into a nearby fountain and slowly lower them in, or not so slowly. I must stress that fountaining is optional and occurs only if a sage hen wants to get their feathers wet. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Although the sage hen is generally a peaceful animal, the stag is its natural competitor. Here we are, a safe distance away, as we observe an interaction between the enemy species. Quick, look, there's a stag. A stag, huh? I didn't know they came this far south. Let's hide. Uh, Carnegie is right over there, follow me. No, this is our territory. We can hold if only... Remember our drills and training? Get in position. <clears throat> uh. Hey, so have you uh, seen the recent uh, Forbes ranking? Oh, no, no, I, I haven't. Uh, but maybe the stag has. Uh, hey, stag, have uh, you seen the recent Forbes ranking? Uh, nope. I didn't see it. Sorry. Uh, guess I just gotta Google it. Sure. Oh, look. It says the Pomona is the number one liberal arts school in the country. And oh, I'm sorry. You were almost there. CMC is number two. Wait, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me, let me just see that. CMC is, is, is number two? Oh my gosh, great news. That's so impressive. Oh, thank you so much. That was, that's, that's amazing. CMC number two. I think that went well. Oh? What's this? Some sort of riddle? Perhaps these mean something to the sage hens. Are they calls to attack the aggressive stag? Secretive invitations to sage hens soirees? But perhaps secret messages left by the sage hen mafia? What? I'm getting reports that these are messages referring to administrative politics at Pomona, left by a group called... Mufti. I'm live with a genuine member of Mufti today. Can you tell us what you do exactly? We put messages on school walls at night. At night? Yeah, and if you catch us, you can become one of us. And is there anything else you'd like to add? No. All right then. In the late hours, after the sage hens have been cooped up studying, they emerge from all buildings in the night to go to snack. Here, they gather to eat and socialize, before returning to their nests. Each night's menu is a surprise, but notable choices include cereal, PB&J, and the dessert offerings from that night's dinner. 
Some say that in the early hours of Panama's, uh, Pomona's blackest nights, you can hear the sweet music of the Sagean's sleepwalk. And if you manage to follow this siren's call, along with a continuous stream of typo-ridden test messages, you just may find hordes upon hordes of Sagean's contorting their bodies in a horrifying social ritual. After weeks of meticulously searching every nest from here to Mount Baldy, we have finally found it. The one, the only, the Sage Hen Party. I guess we should head up to Pizza. And there you have it. Woohoo! The wild, yet elite Sage Hen has been demystified. It may be in the strange land of. Kunoma where only 8% of those who want to enter are allowed, and the number 47 oddly appears everywhere. But, nonetheless, they sure are extremely incredible. This is Oliver with Geographic National signing off, and I've heard of a new class of sage hens migrating into this area. And I'd just like to say to everyone... Welcome transfers in class of 2021! Woo! Wow.